Good morning, children of God. Welcome to our children's moment. What would be a recipe for being in the family of God? Well, I retired from Kroger Bakery a while back, and I was a quality assurance, and I had to, at a lab, and I had to test products before it got into the hands of the bakers to make sure that everything was okay to use the, pro the product for making the bread. I did other different things, but I was very careful in what I did so that the recipe was just right. In God's recipe, he added a dose of generosity, kind-heartedness, love, caring, being humble, and many other things. Have you ever heard of the saying, I've got your back? Or did you ever think that God has your back? You probably don't think of anything that God has my back. What does that mean? Well, any time that you have a struggle and you're fighting and you're probably overthinking this and overthinking that and thinking things are worse than they are, don't be doing that. Give it to God. Let him fight your battles. You'll win better when you do. We, as kids and adults, have been hurt by people that have not had our backs. But again, God's got your back. The scripture says, live and love as Christ loves us. That's the recipe of God's love. Another recipe, when you're doing things for others and you're helping others, please do it because you want to. Don't do it because you think it's going to make you popular, because believe me, work around any place, at home, at church, with friends. It, you need to be there because you want to help someone. It goes without saying, God's love belongs in our recipe. No cheap knockoff. May the aroma of doing God's work be pleasing to our God in heaven. There's a song which um, that I'm not sure if Barry even knows it. It's from Sherry Easter and Jeff Easter, and it's called I Get To. Um, I'm going to be kind of paraphrasing because the prayer bear is going to talk about what he feels about being the prayer bear and growing up. I used to get up every morning, and I still do, and got all dressed up to go to church. I didn't go to church because I had to. I went to church because I get to. I helped around church as much as I can, and I help because I don't have to. I help because I get to. I always help my daddy around the garden, not because I had to, it because I can't, I could. Not because I had to do anything in life. It's because I get to. Amen. Dear Lord, you know, I realize I don't have to say, I love you. I get to. I get to say, I love you.